Gray Fire Spokane has been struggling lately with fires due to recent dry conditions and hot weather. Recent updates on the situation in Spokane show that the biggest concern is the Northwest Fire Complex, which has burned over 390,000 acres already. This fire is currently 70% contained, but that hasn't prevented it from being constantly monitored for further outbreaks. Fortunately, the recent cooler temperatures and precipitation have allowed for progress to be made in containing the fire. The National Interagency Fire Center estimates that nearly 1,500 personnel are actively working to suppress the fire. Aside from the Northwest Fire Complex, other fires burning and being attended to in Spokane include the Strawberry Fire, the El Reno Fire, and the South Fork Fire. Officials have closed certain trails and roads in the area to ensure safety for all. For now, firefighting efforts are focused on the Northwest Fire Complex, but any new fires will happily be extinguished as quickly as possible. The effects of the fire are far-reaching, from air quality issues to decreased visibility. Fortunately, much of Spokane is still able to be visited and enjoyed, and the many parks, trails, and natural sites are still accessible. Resources such as protective air masks are being made available to all citizens and there have been no reported health issues. One resource not available is the rehabilitation and preservation of certain flora, such as protected bushes and grasses. There are many organizations in Spokane working hard to limit the long-term impact of this fire. Firefighters and other workers are being asked to stay within their means and not overexert themselves during their workdays. As summer is still a few weeks away, officials are hopeful that the dangers posed by the fires will soon subside. There is support for the Grey Fire Spokane in the form of donations of supplies and money to help with the recovery effort. People can also help by resourcing the local community with donations or volunteering their time. Unfortunately, arson has been implicated in a lot of the fires, including the Northwest Fire Complex. Law enforcement is working hard to investigate any suspicious activity and find the responsible parties. Despite these difficult times, the Spokane community has come together to help out in any way possible. Social media has also allowed people to spread information and stay informed about the fires. Charities and organizations locally and beyond have come forward to help the affected people and animals. Public awareness on the situation has enabled many to practice climate change safe behaviors. Many local businesses have been affected by the fires, with some having to close their doors for the time being. Fire safety is still in the forefront of many minds, and safety tips and awareness are being shared through various mediums.